Uh, let's go ahead and introduce them. They're going to be in lane two, CIAD. Their hill one is Alfred Chang. Hill two, Sean Donnelly. Hill three, Joseph Ganim. Hill four, Elias Joseph. And hill five, Ariant Jane. And the driver, Tori Siplicus. They're going to be in Tempest. And in lane one, last year's second place finisher, SDCB. On hill one, Neville Caceres. Hill two, Cody Yang. Hill three, Bruce Lee. Hill four, Grayson Moyer. And hill five, Raymond Galeza. The driver, Elaine Oyang in vice. One minute. One minute. We got about one minute here until the start of this race uh, coming up. Uh, Cody Yang there, Hill 2 is his fifth year um, pushing for SDC, so a ton of experience right there. It doesn't look like we're getting the suits this year. No, it looks like, yeah, pretty, pretty standard attire right there out of CIA. Um, well, CIA over the past five years has transitioned 30 into a, seconds. a fierce competitor and like a member of the top three in for the last three years. Long time rolling and they used to be really good. Then they kind of just were always there and now they're good again. And it's great to see them push CIA. I, I mean, they're kind of my dark horse for this year to win. You know, in the past I've said SIG F was it. I think CIA has the best chance to win, but you'll see a, even a D team We'll kind of give you a good indication of how deep they are and how much they're in their, in their investing in wheels. Ten, and the nine, side right there within a half eight, second, second place. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready, set. All right, and here we are off SDCB. Last year's second place finisher is trying to qualify in the top spot so far today building some initial separation there on hill one. Love the fro. This kid's got the flow going. Not a super fast time. About an 18 and a half second hill one. Transition to Cody Yang right there. Pretty early push right there, but a lot of momentum, a lot of speed. And uh, they're kind of splitting that line between the potholes. About a 29 second crosswalk time, so pretty competitive, but not blazing fast, but we'll see how they're doing in their role. It's a device here for us to see. It's interesting that they they roll out the wheel fairings only for like race day. They've been practicing without fairings on those wheels every weekend, and you see them out now. I think I saw them in truck weekend. Did you? All right. Yeah. 56 or so at the stop sign mark, so she's going pretty fast, but uh, let's see what's going down. STC coming down. Second buggy taking the upper transition. STC still using the uh, big bank block. Oh, really big swerve. Very similar. Uh, second swerve at the uh, the truth or dare point for TA through cleanly. Uh, that STC buggy gave up a lot of uh, gave up a lot here in this year. Yeah, you can two, see. not one, but two swerves. Yeah, and you can see CIA closed a lot of gap through that chute right there. SDCB going to try and uh, get some separation by the strength of their pushers. An easier pickup there for Hill 3 because it was slower. Uh, so fairly smooth there, but they did lose a good bit of time. And uh, shirt half on right there for Hill 4. Grayson Moyer right there. Nice. Oh, in the breeze. Yeah. I don't know if he like to get a sweet chest toupee too. Yeah holds or something like that if you bust it out. Uh, Hill 5 now, Raymond Galeza. This is going to be a slow time. You know, I think they're just trying to spite me because the clock is reading 2.07 right now. So they're maybe at 2.15, 2 ish Let's see right here. Coming up close to that finish line. Looking at that clock as he crosses right over there. That's going to be right about a 2.15 2.16 so. mark. No one's breaking it out. And now here comes CIAD. Um, that's a nice time from them. We're going to see if they cross up 2.30. It's going to be right after, like, 2.31 or so for CIAD there.